This is an emergency address to the global gardening and homesteading community. There's something that's happened within our community and it needs to be stopped. Need to be warned about. Um, and this is not an, a video that I was expecting to have to make, but I do need to do this. And I need to do it right now. I am in a very, very busy place. I'm uptown right now at a very busy intersection. But this beautiful magnolia tree is giving me a uh, perfect place to make this video and to prove my point with its magnificent blossoms. Look at those up there. Look at those. I don't know if you can even see them. Here's one. Here's one that's, that's about to start forming. There's one a little, little bit bigger. And then there's one that's already happened. Now that's going to form a seed pod. Now what's going on? People have seen magnolias. And they've heard lightning and thunder. <laughs> which I've also got today. Uh, root sniffing is something that happened to us a couple of years ago in our community. Root sniffing. It's a practice of people sniffing roots and getting addicted to it. The uh, various chemicals that are in, in roots, uh, they, they, it, it, it is, is giving people a sensation, different kinds. Uh, and it's proving to be an addictive thing. Now we have something else. Listen. The Lord, the Creator, whoever you want to believe, nature has put things in our world that are beautiful to look at, beautiful to eat, beautiful to sniff. Okay? You see this? That is a beautiful magnolia blossom. If you want to sniff something, you sniff that. You smell that? Get in there deep like. Deep like. Smell that? Look at it, forming in there. Nature has made these blossoms of the plants to be fragrant, to draw our nose to it, and to please our nose, to please our eyes and our nose with the delicate fragrance that's inside there. That's what you want to be sniffing. If you want to sniff something, sniff that. Don't sniff roots. Now, you see this? This is a leaf. You don't want to sniff that either. There are powerful, powerful compounds within leaves themselves. Many leaves have powerful addictive compounds. People are grabbing them, concentrating the vapors up under their nose and inhaling. There's one such violator has just been seen and uh, I had to seen that video oh, about 10 times just to make sure I saw it right um, Cindy Squirrel off grid you're doing something that's very dangerous you're taking uh, you're taking nature's best things and twisting them around for your pleasure and uh Nature doesn't appreciate that. She wants you to sniff those blossoms, not these leaves. I am um, going to ask John to come down hard on this epidemic before it has a chance to get started. Now, John, I don't care whose team they're on. If they're on my team, Wilson's team, especially if they're on your team, you better knock that stuff off. You better put it to them. You take, uh, get some kind of penalty or something. I don't know what you're going to do, but you better do something. Because this epidemic has a uh, possibility of getting out of hand. After people see the video that she put out, that Cindy Squirrel off-grid, uh, this could be a real problem for us. But all of you good people in our community, just remember... Sniff this. That's what you sniff right there, the blossoms. If you don't, 
you'll wind up with an addiction and maybe possibly even an overdose. And you'll be sniffing dirt. Oh, and then you'll be sniffing your roots. You'll be sniffing roots for sure then. And uh, the leaves will be placed on your casket. So, you sniff that blossom. And stay away from the rest of the tree. That is all for this address. John, get something done with this, brother. Y'all be good. And I mean that.